right? Those are just a few breeds that we will be having the competition on, right? For the other breeds, because we know there's many other breeds that will be at the show, we have other fun categories for them. These fun categories will go from largest dog, smallest dog, best groom, most unique dog, cutest puppy, best condition dogs, and the list. to the breed standard mm -hmm. we could focus a bit on that that is where we will be judging dogs based on what they should look like according to the written breed standard for them we'll be using um, American Kennel Club that that standard for most of the breeds so for instance somebody brings a Rottweiler right in Guyana air people might call any kind of thing whatever they want to call it but there is a standard for certain things so what we will do, look at the certain criteria that we um, that a Rottweiler should have, look at your dog and then judge it based on that. So who dog best, be, um, best fits the criteria, you're most likely going to win. But we have four second and third prizes. So we really need you guys to come out, show us what you have, if you're confident in your dog, you're confident to just take care of your dog properly. Can your dog just think that looking according to the breed standard, it must look in healthy. Um, the coat, something like the teeth, even even the odor of the dog must must be pleasing. You know, if you're gonna bring your, your dog, you stink dog, you get inside the yard running around, you pen that you don't clean and just bring all the dog, just say, hey, this is not dog, this is not your bottom yard, you little kind of meat thing, you say. So, at least for the day, buy a shampoo for the dog, if you can't buy a shampoo, buy a carbolic, so the cheap. It's been wrong a while, but um, it has recently been. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it became um, more active and popular. Yeah. So it's Lillian Dog Ground, same place it kept last year. That will be the ground like two blocks away from um, Movie Town. If you're heading up this, the, the, the East Coast, it will be two blocks before. If you're heading down, it will be two blocks after. It's a big white gate, you can't miss it. So if you're going down and be on your left hand side, obviously the big white gate, you come in straight down and you're going to see all the things. I think they had an event there the other day. Um, yes, yeah, something they had there the other day. Yeah, you, you, can't miss, you, can, you can't miss the place. Man. Entrance fee, reasonable. $2,000 is $2,000 for adults, $1,500 for children, children under 8, absolutely free. All dogs, free. Uh, we like you to see vets. And, and clinics and so on, or representatives of those those um, facilities being present to offer advice and so on to these, these dog owners? Yes, right now we are reaching out to some vets just so that they could come and um, be the population or the persons that the attendees on some of the, what I want to focus on is some of the ailments um, that are um, facing the Guyanese dog population at the moment, guys. A lot of people in educated about um, simple illnesses that dogs, especially puppies, could pick up just by uh, being on the road, 
just by not being up to date with the vaccines and so forth like that. So uh, we can't reach out to some vets. I won't be able to say at this time which one or how much of them will be there, but they will be there. We're also trying to reach out to um, TSPCA. We want them to come because even though we know right now um, over the past two years it's become popular with people purchasing dogs, but we want people to also know that there's a lot of great dogs out there for adoption. So we're trying to get GSPCA to come out with a team and um, get a little booth for them with some, they could bring out some dogs that are available for adoption and you could probably come out right out here today and adopt a dog. And they will be also able to educate people on the importance of spaying and neutering which is um, basically stopping the dog from getting pregnant. Because there are a lot of people get these same yard dog, they get running up and down, the dogs then get pregnant, they end up with a set of puppies that you can't afford to mind, the puppies end up on the road, then the puppies getting knocked down, puppies getting sick, and the same sick puppies and these sick growing up to be sick dogs that is going around and probably infecting probably your dog. Because you see these stray dogs come up to a GAP and a GAP and a carry a lot of is, 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 um, to be charged for that day. Okay. So, so thank you very much, uh, Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm has a dog show on the 1st of May 2022 on, at Liliandal. $2,000 to get in there. And uh, if you want to know the location, um, it is if you're coming from further up on the East Coast, as soon as you pass Movie Town um, and you jump over that little entrance that takes you to the embankment but well, you're passing that entrance and a little further up there is a wide open space um, that that is with a beautifully um, done lawns and so on that is where the show will be held